Did you know that you can outline text now in Canva? I know, right? Let's find out how. Welcome back, everybody. It's your favorite Canva aficionado, Karen Carr here. And today I'm going to teach you how to outline text for your YouTube thumbnails. It's been long overdue. And finally, I figured out how we can do it in Canva. So let's jump on over to Canva and take a look at this sample thumbnail. So here we are in Canva. I started a new design, said that it was a YouTube thumbnail, and I chose the photo that I wanted to have in the background. Now I need to add my text. The simplest way to do it is to simply hit a T on your keyboard and it opens up a box of text on your screen. I love the Canva shortcuts. They are such time savers. Now we want to change this text because it's obviously too small and it's not my favorite font in the whole world. What if I did Anton and I said I wanted it to be 42 and I'm going to change it and make it white. So it's a little bit easier to read. Great. So here I've got my text. I still think that's too small. Let's make it giant. But I want it to be outlined. I want it to pop off the page. How do I do that? Click on your text, go to effects and click hollow. Now you see what it did, right? First, I need to duplicate this. So I hit this little button up here by the trash can. That's the plus. I duplicated it. For this one, I'm going to say none. So now I have one that's solid, one that is an outline. And now all we have to do is change the color. So I can change the white to, I don't know, orange. And then we're going to lay them on top of each other so that the outline is in the front. I'm going to change the position to forward and now bam, it is done. You can make whatever color scheme you want. You could do white text with a black outline and just mess around with it until you have it exactly how you want it. By the way, did you know that I have a whole template I can share with you to help you get started making custom thumbnails in Canva and your channel banner as well? It's my YouTube starter kit. I'm going to put the link down below and I might put it up there too, where you can download my starter kit, open my template and start designing from there so that you don't have to start from scratch. Totally free. Go get yours. And now back to the tutorial. Now, what if I want to have a shadow behind it as well? I have to get rid of the outline and choose the solid one, go back up to effects and pick either shadow or lift. Let's go with lift and I'm going to bump up the intensity a little bit and then put my outline back on top and see how that looks. That looks pretty good. Or I can go shadow and you can play with the offset a little bit. You can play with the direction of the offset. You can change the blur of it. You can change the transparency. And I don't like having a white background, a white shout. I want a black one there. That's much more eye catching. And then I could do this again. That doesn't have to be black. It could be orange. It could be blue. It could be red. Let's go with blue. So now my text is outlined and it has a shadow behind it. Thank you Canva for allowing us to have this kind of capability where before we had to use something like Adobe Photoshop in order to be able to make our text look fabulous. Then last but not least, group them all together. And when you hit group, now we can make the whole thing bigger and smaller. We can move it all around without having to move each thing individually. If you liked this tutorial, you might like these about Canva as well. And don't forget to get your YouTube starter kit. I will put that link down below so that you can start from step 10 instead of starting from scratch.